It's me, the Wombat. How's everybody doing today? You having a good day? I really hope so. It is Tuesday, October something. October 23rd, I think. So anyways, I am here with, you got it, another food review. I do too many of these, as you can tell. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this. Is it a drink? Is it a snack? Is it a snack? Is it a drink? Let's find out. Close my eyes. Reach over here. Crinkly package. I know what it is because I brought it out here. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Anyways, it is from... Let me do this here. From Kroger. So you guys know exactly where I got this from. Here on the West Coast, it's known as Ralph's. Everywhere east of the Rockies is Kroger. I think that's the boundary. Maybe just outside of California, it's Kroger. I don't know. Most people know it as Kroger. They call themselves Kroger, Ralph, same company. Anyways, what we have here is prime rib and horseradish wavy potato chips. Look at that. Big old slab of meat. Sorry for any vegetarians out there, but that is a tasty chunk of meat. So, it says... Behold the bold, prime rib and horseradish. Some tastes just go great together, like prime rib and horseradish. <laughs> Savory and robust, I can't even talk. Savory and robust. These crowd-pleasing potato chips are sure to be a big hit at any gathering, so dive in. I didn't bring my swim fin, goggles, nor my Speedo, but we're gonna dive into these right now. Let's get into it. Hopefully we can get into this package. Looks like there's a good entry point right there. Okay, maybe not. We just do it the old-fashioned way. Grab it in the middle, one side, one side on the seam. And pull and have your hands kind of rotate. Because if you just kind of pull straight out, sometimes you pull and pull and it's not quite there. And then just that one extra tug, whew, they go everywhere. So we don't need that, do we? No, we don't. Anyways, these look like a regular wavy, crinkly potato chip. It's supposed to be, this is your prime rib and horseradish. It just looks like a plain potato chip. I'm not smelling anything, but my nose is, is slightly stuffy this morning. I'm not seeing anything. There's a little bit of brownish, reddish stuff, but we're going to be a pig. I'm going to snap it in half. Wow. I was thinking this was just going to be a slightly flavored, but it's like, wow. Once you, once you bite into that chip, let me set those right there for right now. Have you had prime rib before? Prime rib is different than a lot of other, other cuts of beef. Um, it's prepared a lot differently and sometimes people think it's undercooked they'll send it back because it's not done all the way it's if you never had it try it it's like a really rare steak but it's like really tender and once you bite into it the juices and the flavors just kind of slightly ooze on out and that's what's going on with this chip i thought i can't smell anything it's not an overwhelming smell. Like sometimes people get kind of heavy handed with the flavoring. You go, oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to be, but oh, it's way too strong or artificial. This is nice because you can't smell it, can't taste it. And then you put it in your mouth and it's just like eating a, a mouthful of prime rib. Mm. Those have been around for a while. I always pass them up. I'm like, nah. Because sometimes things with horseradish is just like, not just horseradish, but it's like, horseradish! And you can like, <laughs> really taste it. It's just like, woo! 
But this is just a nice, subtle blend. So on my occasional Wombat scale, I use, I'll give it four paws, four and a half paws. Four paws and a raised ear, both ears raised. I don't know. Those are good. Those are probably going to be my new favorite chip now. Those are those are tasty. I like them. Let me get another one here. These are... mm. If you want to have a nice romantic dinner with your someone special, dim the lights, put on some soft music. Light some candles, dress to impress, and just serve up these. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.